Hello, hello everybody, what's up? It is great to be back as always. I hope you are having a fantastic day so far, because I sure am. There is so much cool stuff going on right now, and that includes the release of this awesome looking new game, Kingdom Come Deliverance. I am very excited uh, to be picking up this game. We did a couple tests earlier, we jumped into the game for a little bit to make sure we could capture it correctly, and in the five minutes I was walking around in the game, some crazy shit was happening. It looks insanely beautiful, and I am excited to jump into this game. In addition to that, there are some uh, cool new Twitch features that just got released, including one that is a that gives you a chat badge um, if you are the best clipper in the channel. So if you make the best clips, um, and you get the most views off of your clips from my channel, you get a badge in chat, supposedly, which is pretty damn cool. I think that could be kind of interesting. Um, we'll have to see how that all unfolds. In addition to that, they, they also just changed the way bits work, um, or sorry, the way that bit um, badges work on the top of chat. Not even badges. The, the things on the, the, the alert. Or the, not, it's not even an alert. What am I saying, chat? They changed the way the notification for bits works on top of chat. Um, so now there's a top three tier list of bit donationers um, that is going to be coming around the corner in about a month, supposedly, which is pretty neat. I think I think that'll hopefully fix a lot of the issues with the other bit uh, notification thing. Um, in addition to that, here's some cheers, guys. We got some coffee as usual, keeping me awake, keeping me happy. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a good day. I'm looking forward to it. Um, we're going to be probably having a little bit longer of an afternoon stream today. I am going to be taking a break um, to watch the snowboarding finals in the Olympics because I have to. I am compelled. The power compels me. Um, yeah, the freaking... The qualifiers were insane yesterday. Sean White dominated um, as... He does often, um, so I am really, really hyped for the uh, actual finals, which are gonna be today, around 6:30ish my time. I'm pretty sure. So I, I will be taking a normal, our normal dinner break, maybe a little bit later, um, to watch that. And with that, let's go ahead and jump into this game and see what's going on. Let's see what we can get done. Let's let our knighthood develop, let our kingdom deliver. I'm pretty excited about this. I have been excited about this for a while now. Um, and like I said, when we jumped into the game to do some capture uh, setting up, to set up a capture, let's go ahead and switch over. Let's do it. Um, we were in the game for literally five minutes and we punched a guy in the face to see what happened. And we got arrested. We got thrown in jail. And then the entire town burned down around us and we died and we lost the entire game. That's how that went. Charles the Fourth, King of Bohemia, hmm. the hell? It's not Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. There we go. The empire he ruled. All right, let's watch this. Expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than seven thousand people accompanied him on his last procession. A low volume. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles's son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his. Father. Oh no! He neglected him. He has a shitty he He's a shitty king. Frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate. Ooh, it's like a um, advantage of the ensuing disorder Robin Hood. to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. 
It is here that my story begins. Hmm. All right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Hello, Elvar. Welcome, my friend. Um, it's been a pretty good, pretty good day so far. How are you doing? Me be later. Only a bit. Not too much. Five minutes. I would say it is an acceptable lateness. Um, we got we jumped in this game earlier, like I said a few seconds ago, to uh, you know test capturing and all that stuff, and it was super cool. In the first five minutes, we punched a guy, got locked in jail, the entire town around us burned down, and we uh, died and lost the entire game. So I'm excited to see what happens when we actually play the game like a real person, and uh, let's do this. Let's do this. New game. And cheers again, guys. Cheers again. You? The king's inactivity angered many of the nobility, as well as his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. I thought that was going to get a voiceover. <laughs> Silver Scalance. 1403 Kingdom come deliverance It is upon us It is upon us Husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping mm -hmm. when I went out. I think we're Henry. At this hour. Blue blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> go That's so cute. Up, then. So cute. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. So we are the child of a smithy. Henry! Get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slug of egg. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. All right, no the vexing. The table. I've got it. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. I don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm, well, 
Just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. <laughs> you rogue? I'm a rogue! I'd love to be a rogue. This is basically Dark Souls already. A fine state you're in this morning. What well, on earth you. did you get up to last night? Nothing. Mother, I did nothing. All right. So by means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you will select your character's default characteristics. Seems weird, but cool. If you're not satisfied with them, not to worry. All characteristics can be further developed without limitations. Okay. So... With previous experience in these these types of RPGs, speech does come in handy. But I think we might actually go with this. We were chatting in the tavern as our first choice. Um, and then maybe do a combat one for the second one. Like possibly agility or strength. I'm guessing we'll get these four these four characteristics for each each thing. I was with Bianca. Well then. Uh yeah, we're gonna go with speech. We were chatting in the tavern for our first one. Mm, Seems good. Much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world, and um, lots going on in the world. Well, I. Uh, by the way, chat. The time. Well, I hope he didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. We reached a new level in speed. We reached a new main level. Hand, and that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Hmm. Okay. So, I think we might go with um, agility. Kind of go, I, I don't know if this is like dexterity, like in Dark Souls, but we could do something along the lines of dexterity with agility. That could be kind of cool. So yeah, let's do that. Matthias was teaching me archery. No, it's just Matthias. Matthias, excuse me, excuse me. Archery. me. archery? Do you want to become a poacher? Have you any idea of the punishment for that? And where did you get a bow anyway? Oh, come on. I've no interest in poaching. It's just a bit of fun. I would like to poach. Christ, that sounds like a great plan. Strength. Just don't do anything stupid. For the love of God! Oh, God. But I promise. promise. I promise. Hmm. Okay, cool. Go to your father. We're going to go ahead and um, clean out the rest of this dialogue. This is something we're going to be commonly doing um, to pick up side quests. We're going to be doing probably... The majority of the side quests we have the option to take. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. My friends. It shouldn't be hard to find. I how old he is. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. I guess people lived with their parents far longer than they do in the modern age. So he could be, like, into his 20s, I guess. My friends aren't drunk. I'm going to say you're misjudging them. It's unfair. Really? So where were you until the small hours last night? I was with Bianca, of course. Mm. You mean at Bianca's tavern? You actually was with Bianca. And who was there with you? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. Matthew, Matthew and, and Fritz. Fritz. Well, at least you were with Bianca. You should hold on to that one, Hal. She's a clever girl. And invite her for supper sometime. Your father's very fond of her. You're lurking, Elvar! How you dare you? Be able to wheedle the secret of beer brew now. That sounds great, Elvar. How are you today, man? <laughs> You're right there. You'd think he was planning to become a brewer in his dotage. Still, that's your father for you. Oh. At least he's interested in True love. Unlike you lot. You're too busy getting into mischief to do an honest day's work. If Fritz and Matthew carry on this way, they'll wind up swinging one day. You mark my words. Oh my god. That was like really violent all of a sudden. They're gonna hang one day. <laughs> if your best friends keep up the way they're going, they're gonna get hung. Holy shit. Imagine your mother saying that about your about your friends. Uh, okay, I'm hungry. Let's get, get some food. Tea? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Okay, cool. We'll go and grab that in a second. Um, is Pa angry with me? Father angry Probably. For sleeping late. He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. 
Ben. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Uh, all right. Do you need help, Mama? You need to do anything, Ma. Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Cool. End of dialogue. Very good. Let's go get the food, let's go help, and let's go help our father. The player's character and abilities are determined by the stats, skills, and perks you will find in the player tab. Henry basically develops his abilities constantly simply by using them. That's cool. I do like that. I like that. I am a fond of the system of developing your abilities just by using them in, in games. Move around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Caps. Oh, that's actually nice to know. Weird that Caps Lock is, is walking. Oh, we walk slow. Maybe we can use that to, sne to sneak later. All right, let's grab some food. Apple. 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 <laughs> what if we can take all the money as well? That'd be kind of nice. Looks like probably not. Take some bread rolls. Oh, we can just sit down at the table. What if we can slide down the bench? No, we can't. All right. Let's see if we can just eat this stuff. Do we need to eat it? Nourishment. <laughs> Let's see. If... Yeah, okay. So this will boost up our nourishment. I don't know how high it goes. Probably 100 since our health and energy are 100, but I really have no idea. 53. Huh. All right, let's grab the rest of these apples then, because we are no nowhere near full nourishment, unless full nourishment is like 60. <laughs> we just grab the freaking bowl. Oh my god. Okay, that's that's dumb. So if we sit on this end, we still sit on the right end of the bench. I don't like it. I wonder if we, I guess we can probably just jump on top of this. Yeah, there we go. Much better. We'll probably set that bowl down because I'm guessing we have a weight limit of um, how much we can carry. There's probably no point in um, holding on to a bowl. Oh, lentil soup. Oh, just kidding. We can actually eat this. Cool. I'm liking it so far. Trunk keys and door keys. <laughs> I wonder if there's a trunk in here that we can grab. Where we were sleeping. We weren't sleeping on this table, so it must have been in the other room. I lurk. Oh, look. Whoa! Uh, okay, cool. We can take all of our parents' apples. Interesting. some cabbage stealing all of our mother's food all right let's see if we can cap our nourishment off now this way we don't have to worry about it later on when we're Ooh, the cabbage was worth a lot oh we can get overnourished either that or it just goes over 100 Interesting. All right, what are they? Oh, more carrots. Wow, you know, one thing that is remarkable about this game is how complex a lot of the different... Where the hell, were we actually sleeping on this bench? I find that hard to believe. But I think we were. Because we, when we woke up, we were staring at that. There has to be a bedroom somewhere. Maybe it's just not in this this house. Maybe we walked in here during the cutscene. I bet that's actually what happened. All right, let's go talk to Papa. Hello, Mother. So we shouldn't have any more dialogue with her, I think. What do you need, son? Yeah, we're good. We're gonna explore the shit out of this game. We are gonna go everywhere we can. Do everything we can. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. And also, holy shit, is it beautiful. I mean, it is ridiculous. 
really, really pretty. Oh, look! Some grapevines. Oh, let's go say hi to our dad. Should be up here. You discovered the grindstone! I bet we can use this for, uh... Crafting and sharpening weapons are later on. All right, Dad, what's up? Father, I beseech you. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling? By the way, let me know if it's too quiet, guys, because it does seem a little bit quiet, but I don't know if it's too quiet or what. All right, sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goals. When talking to people, you can often choose which what kind of impression you want to make on them. Okay, cool. So we have all these different options, basically, for talking. And then I'm guessing we will upgrade those depending on... Sorry, I wanted to have a look around. I had to do something. So this is just persuasion. This is like the haughty method. Um, yeah, it looks like we have our stats right over there. And we don't, interesting, so it's almost like talking is a form of combat actually, where you don't know your, actually, let me move my head real quick. Um, if you look underneath where my face is, you can see he has question marks under his thing. So I'm guessing if we are a higher level than he is, in, in these specific areas, we will win that option. Pretty interesting, actually. Actually, makes me want to move my face. But Sorry, Father. We'll do that one. I was taking a stroll and lost track of time. Somehow I had a feeling I was seeing everything for the first time. How, my boy? Success! to get some sense. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market okay. and buy a bag from a charcoal. You get some charcoal. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell okay. him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh, that drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. That will be fun. Well, you're a big <clears throat> lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his <laughs> ass. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Personally oh, use that hammer? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasal. You want me to go and All pick right. it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And Got it. ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway. Hey, girl of yours. My girl. Make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right. So make sure Ooh, Bianca someone's got some angst. draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's see if he has any other dialogue for us. All right, so we have a codex that teaches how to do things. Eloquence will keep you with friends. Early people trouble, and if you'd rather not beat around the bush, violence can help, can also be a solution. Cool. Actually, real quick, I want to look at, um... Where is this? Conversation. I didn't read what the... Hmm. Actually, it should be, it should be a tutorial. Character skills... Wow, look at all these things. It makes you resistant to nefarious effects of alcohol. You can up your drinking skill. Maintenance, alchemy, pickpocketing, lockpick. Wow, holy shit. This is going to be, chat, this is going to be fun. This is going to be really fun. Herbalism, reading, lose your ability, ability to read books. If that any book is just gibberish to you, higher reading skills decreases the amount of time required to read and comprehend a book. Oh, that's awesome. So cool. So cool. All right, so I'm guessing all our player stats will have each. Uh, of the different types and the levels of each thing. Visibility is the opposite of camouflage. It tells you how easy you are to spot. That's cool. Not the same thing as conspicuousness. A, a pitch dark garb is not much visible, but very conspicuous once spotted. Ah, okay, cool. Measure how you stand out. Damn, there is a stat for like literally everything. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. Actually, I'm gonna look at that again real quick. How do we... How do we get rid of this, like, thing? What if I wanna see the far end of each item? I guess maybe we just can't. 
Seems weird though. Hmm. Okay, so this is what we'll have equipped. This is probably where we'll put armor, I guess. Or, or oh, this will, this will be our headgear. This will be our other armor and stuff besides our basic clothing. Leggings and boots. And then maybe, we yeah, weapons offhand. Cool. Very, very cool. We still have full nourishment, which is great. And here's all of our different stats. Speech stats, charisma, speed. Pretty fast, actually. 18! I wonder how fast we can get. All right, let's, get, let's go. Oh, actually, we should look at our quest real quick. All right. Um, so we had the one main quest we have has all of these different objectives, um, and we have no side quest yet. Buy ale, pick up. So I guess we'll just go be go in order of this. Uh, go to sword fighting lessons at B, but that's not marked on the map. I don't think. Oh, it is. It's just really close to one of the other ones. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Skip time. Huh. So when you're in this, you could you could pass time. It's kind of cool. So yeah, earlier when we were testing out the game, we punched this guy, and he ran from us, and then a guard came, arrested us. We didn't have the amount of money to pay the fines, so we got locked up, and then we just freaking died. We burned to death in the jail. Five minutes into the game. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I wonder if we can go up here. Oh, actually, one of our obje objectives is up here. What the hell? Pick up the cross guard at the castle. Oh, cool. Well, this is a close. Might as well do this. Are yeah, you just... serious? Okay. Uh, uh, what the hell? Relax. Relax, man. God be with you. God be with you too, sir. How are you, Henry? How are you? Doing pretty good. Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzig, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father has them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. Oh, cool. So we don't have to go. Wait. Over. I kind of wanted to go in. Work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? <clears throat> Where shall I start? <laughs> ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Cool. One cross guard down. Magnificent. I wonder how the weight is balanced in this game. Sword for myself. Well, I better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly mm. will. There are drinking buddies. It's kind of cool. Today's work. The ale might even be on me. <laughs> you got cross guard for a new sword. Yes. Exactly what I've always wanted. <laughs> exactly what I've always wanted. So we're gonna go to B now. Uh, and go do some swordsmanship, some training. We can kill people. Find information about the quest in your log, J. And for clarity, uh, they're indicated also on the map. Ooh. Yeah. Let's go, let's go ahead and go to sword fighting lessons. So it looks like to get rid of those tutorials, we actually have to click the button they want. Choco burner. Wait, what? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Forsaken dungeon, or the one who holds the key to them. Can you not see I'm busy with Master Faber here? What? If it's charcoal you want, lad, go and talk to my helper. Rude. Hello, helper. And the dialogue of the cutscenes are actually really well written. I've been enjoying it quite a lot, actually. Good day. Good day, good sir. Let's talk trade. Oh, we need to get the money first. Okay, let's just let's just leave. Forgot about that. So, uh, swordsmanship. Did this guy? You want to learn something? I would love to learn something. Let's do it. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Yes, my hand. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. 
The world's a dangerous place, and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as a it man, happens, it's your a last man. Chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yeah. Let's go. Yes. All right. I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. 